हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ राकेश अमृतकर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री महात्मा गांधी विद्या मंदिर समाज श्री प्रशांत दादा हिरे कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी टुडे वी विल डिस्कस दिस ऑक्सी कैम्स एंड सेलेक्टिव कॉक्स टू इनिबिटर्स अंडर द चैप्टर कॉल्ड एज नॉन स्टेडल एंटी इंफ्लेमेटरी एजेंट्स अपॉन कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस प्रेजेंटेशन यू आर एबल टू क्लियर वॉट इज मीन बाय एन एस then classification of chemical classification of this non steroidal anti inflammatory agents mode of action of this all types of nsaids and <coughs> acrs and structures iupac of two classes called as oxy camps and selective cox2 inhibitors so this is a chemical classification of nsaids these are divided into 10 9 to 10 classes first one is salicylates example aspirin diphenyl and sulfasalazine then para amino phenol derivatives paracetamol phenacetine pyrazolidine dione this is phenylbutazone oxybenzone then anthranilic acid derivative mefenamic acid meclofenamic acid then aryl alkanoic acid derivatives are four types indol acetic acid derivatives indine acetic acid that is sulindac pyrrole acetic acid derivative that is tolmitin and zomiprac phenyl acetic acid or it is propionic acid derivatives examples are diclofenac ibuprofen etc then oxycams and selective cox2 inhibitors in this presentation we will discuss this two oxy camps and selective cox2 inhibitors then gold compounds and miscellaneous mode of action of this non steroidal anti inflammatory agents these agents work by inhibiting the activity of uh, cyclooxygenase enzyme these are cox1 or cox2 before this mode of action what has been by arachidonic acid it is an most important prostaglandin precursor as uh, arachidonic acid which is a essential fatty acid and it is also synthesized from dietary essential linoleic acid it is nothing but ecoso tetranoic acid having a four double bonds and 20 carbon in their structure it is uh, arachidonic acid does not exist as a free acid but rather it is esterified in phospholipids this prostaglandin endoperoxidase synthase it is a pathway there are two cyclooxygenase act activity and hydroperoxidase activity this catalyzes the addition of two molecules of oxygen to arachidonic acid producing prostaglandin g2 and second step hydroperoxidase activity it mediates the glutathion dependent reaction that converts the hydroperoxy function of pgg to an hydroxy group this is a mode of action of <coughs> non steroidal anti inflammatory agents cell membranes phospholipids in presence of phospholipase a2 physical chemical and in inflammatory and mitotic stimuli to form arachidonic acid this arachidonic acid is converts into prostaglandin in presence of prostaglandin gnh synthase it is cox1 and cox2 this prostaglandin g is synthesized this hydroperoxidase activity leads to form prostaglandin h2 and further they are tissue specific isomers are formed that is uh, prostacyclin thromboxane prostaglandins d2 prostaglandin e2 then prostaglandin f2 alpha these are all are called as prostanoids this thromboxane shows uh, platelets smooth vascular smooth muscles kidney and macrophages it is located brain kidney related to this organs and cells this is a pathway of production of this arachidonic acid 
it is omega 6 omega 6 acid it is uh, linoleic acid it is essential fatty acid which converts into di homo gamma linoleic acid to form 5 8 11 and 14 5 8 11 and it is 14 Ecosa tetranoic acid with C double bond O and one four double bonds. Further, this uh, arachidonic acid once is liberates it used as a substrate for cyclooxygenase and lipooxygenase and epoxygenase. Epoxygenase pathway. This arachidonic acid is converts into PGG2 this is prostaglandin endoperoxidase synthase the cyclooxygenase this again peroxidase enzyme is responsible for conversion of this PGG2 to PGH2 and these NSAIDs inhibit this cyclooxygenase enzyme which is responsible for conversion of this arachidonic acid to prostaglandins this is the mode of action of this non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents. As we discuss, uh, we see these details of oxycams called as 4-hydroxy, 1-2-benz, thiazine, carboxamide. How it is 1, this is 1, this is 2 and this is thiazine and if this thiazine is fused with this benzene that's why it is called as benzothiazine first this is benzothiazine and this is fourth number it is hydroxy this is third number is what carboxamide it is CONH2 or H is replaced with the R functional group or alkyl group the term oxycam describes the relatively new enolic acid class of 4-hydroxy 1,2-benzothiazine carboxamide with anti-inflammatory and analgesic property. Examples are pyroxicam, meloxicam and isoxicam. This pyroxicam first. Again, the IUPAC, this is one number, this is two, this is three, this is four hydroxy benzothiazine, this is five number, this is six, this one is seven and this one is eight. So if this is 1, 1 dioxide, it is 1, 1 dioxide, these two are dioxide, then 3 carboxamide, this carboxamide N is pyridine, this N pyridine, 2 pyridine elements, this is 1, this is 2, that's why 1, 2 benzothiazine, 1, 2 benzothiazine, this is 2 methyl, this is, this one is the methyl, second number, and this 4 hydroxy here, so this is, uh, IUPAC of the spiroxicam properties of the spiroxicam is white or slightly yellow crystalline powder practically it is insoluble in water soluble in methylene chloride used in employed for acute and long term therapy for relief of symptoms of osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis it is also possesses uricosuric action and has been used in the treatment of gout. The dose are 20 mg per day. This is a synthesis of synthetic method or scheme of this pyroxicam. This saccharine is a starting material that in presence of methyl chloroacetate gives you this intermediate And there is a ring expansion in presence of NaOCH3 with methyl iodide in presence of base and it forms this ester. This is amino pyridine to form pyroxicam. then meloxicam same it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 it is 1 1 dioxide carboxamide benzothiazine 
it is 5 methyl 2 thiazolyl it is 5 1 two. this one is the fifth number this is 1 2 3 4 and this one is 5 this is what thiazole which thiazole it is 1 3 it is thiazole thiazole Thiazol. 5 methyl thiazole this is second one is 2H it is 1 2H this 4 hydroxy 2 methyl again and N is substituted with this 5 methyl 2 thiazolyl and 1 2 benzothiazine 3 carboxamide 1 1 dioxide it is meloxicam properties are pale yellow powder insoluble in water slightly soluble in acetone and DMF it is used as a cyclooxygen inhibitor as an analgesic and anti-inflammatory agent oxycams SAR of this oxycams this hydroxy group is essential for biological activity first at the fourth position this is one two one two is important thiazine then in the most active analogs have substituents methyl on the nitrogen and electron withdrawing substituent on the anilid phenyl group such as Cl chloride and trifluoromethane at this position on this nitrogen introduction of heterocyclic ring in amide chain significantly increases the anti-inflammatory anti activity example 2 thiazolyl derivative pseudoxycam is a more potent than endometacin so when we replace this hydrogen with heterocyclic ring system it increases the biological activity <coughs> The most active benzothiazine have acidities in pK range of 6 to 8. Second class for this presentation is selective COX-2 inhibitors. Examples are silicoxib, then rofecoxib, valdecoxib and paracoxib. This prostaglandin that mediates inflammation, fever and pain are produced solely via COX-2 and the prostaglandins that are important in gastrointestinal tract, platelets, uterus and adrenal function are produced slowly, solely via COX-1. Selective COX-2 inhibitors that is silicoxib and all these drugs are devoid of side effects such as gastric ulcers. This prostaglandins that are Im important in GIT, platelet, uterus and adrenal function are produced only via COX-1. That's why COX-2, selective COX-2 inhibitors not having this side effects related to this one like GI, uterus and adrenal function. It does not affect the normal functioning of platelet, uterus and adrenal system etc example is silicoxib is uh, benzene sulfonamide it is benzene this is sulfonamide this is pyrazolyl this is pyrazol 1 2 3 trifluoromethane it is trifluoro it is trifluoro this is 1 2 3 4 5 this is 5 number is substituted with methyl phenyl this is methyl and this one is phenyl this is called as silicoxib then uh, exist as a pale yellow crystals sparingly soluble in water uses used to treat arthritis pain menstrual cramps and chronic polyps structural activity relationship of this silicoxib when this is uh, electron withdrawing substituent like Chlorine and trifluoromethane shows better dual COX-2 and lipooxygenase inhibitory activity in vitro at this position, this R1. Three, four, five substituted one, two, four triazole diminishes dual COX-2 and lipooxygenase inhibitory activity. Yeah, this one, triazole. 
this one R2 is substituted with CH3SO2 and NH2SO2 are required means sulfonamide is essential for biological activity linker like uh, bridge ethylene bridge like R3 methyl shows potent dual inhibitory activity Orophic oxyp that is uh, furanone this is furan known furanone means it is phenyl 3 phenyl 1 2 3 1 2 3 3 phenyl phenyl sulfonyl methyl this is sulfonyl methyl 1 2 3 4 4 number sulfonyl methyl so 1 2 3 4 this is 1 2 3 phenyl and 4 number is substituted with 4 methyl sulfonyl it is again 4 it's 4 of this 4 of this phenyl sulfonyl methyl this is rhopic oxy properties are light yellow powder sparingly soluble in acetone and methanol rhopic oxy is used to relieve the pain tenderness inflammation and stiffness caused by arthritis thank you this is regarding uh, definition classification mode of action of NSAIDs and in short about SAR of oxycams and selective COX2 inhibitors thank you